up until now, we have completed everything here. We have created a basic package, theme view files, a Vite configuration, and everything is set up. We now have this page, and we have also changed some colors. Next, we will add content here. To do this, we need to navigate to the Admin panel. Once you log into the Admin panel, go to the Themes section. From there, click on the Create Theme button. This will prompt you to enter some details. For example, let's say we are creating a slider. To keep it simple, we can name it Slider and assign it a short order. This will make it the first priority. Since we are creating an image carousel, we will name it Image Carousel. We will use this for our new theme. After saving the theme, you'll need to add an image. Here, you can see fields for the image title and a link if you want to include one. So we have slide one. We can add slide one and an image. To add an image, I have already uploaded four images here and we can use any of them. For this example, I am using the fourth one. If I click on the fourth image and save it, this becomes our first image for the carousel. You need to activate this. Once activated, save it again. Now, for this theme, if I check, I will see a slider for this dedicated theme, just for a single page. Similarly, if I want to make any changes, such as adding another image, I can do that here. For example, I can add another slider, naming it Slide 2, and assign an image to it as the Slide 2 image. If I save this and refresh the page, I will now have two images in the slider. Now, let's add one more element. For instance, if we want to include another type of carousel, we can create a new theme. Let's call this new theme Category Carousel. For this, we can add a category name here, any random category of our choice. And this will have a sort order of two. Since this is for a new theme, once I save the theme, I need to select a sort option. This allows you to organize category products either in ascending or descending order. To keep it simple, let's choose descending order. You can also set a limit for the number of items. For example, I'll set the limit to 9, though you can choose 6 or any other number as per your preference. After saving this, the category carousel will appear here like this. Currently, I only have three categories, which is why it's displaying three categories. If you need to add another category, you can do so. For instance, if you want to filter the categories to display specific ones, you can apply a filter here as well. Filters can be based on attributes like parent ID, name, or status. For example, if I set the parent ID to 1, it will retrieve all categories under parent ID 1. After saving and refreshing, only the men's category will be displayed. Similarly, if you want to create static content, you can add it here. Static content refers to elements like HTML pages or other similar content. You can easily create static content from this section. Let's call it static content or any other name you'd prefer. Save it as part of the new theme. Now you can add any HTML you want here. For example, we can copy the static content from the shop package we already have. For the bold collection, we can copy the static content. Let me copy it fully to check if there is any CSS included. Yes, we have CSS as well, but let's focus on copying the HTML part only. Next, navigate back to the static content section and create a new static content item. Set the sort order to three and assign it to the new theme. Here, we'll paste the static content we copied. Let's name it, get ready for the new collection. This will represent our new theme collection. Enable it and save it. Now, when you refresh the page, the static content will appear as desired. You can configure this content further using HTML or CSS as needed. Let's also add the associated CSS. Paste the CSS here and save it. Upon refreshing the page, you'll see the proper content displayed. This represents the new theme collection. These simple yet flexible options allow you to customize and enhance your content. Experiment with these features to explore even more possibilities. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.